hello to one and all here i am going to discuss on super question theorem which is coming under the subject electric circuit theory here i have an example circuit where i have three voltage sources and what is the question uh, here is find the current flowing through 8 ohm resistor so let me mark what i am going to find let me take this as this both ends as ab this is just for my convenience it's not necessary to mark it a and b and what is the first step in superposition theorem we have to do is before going inside the superposition theorem it's my advice is to know some basics on kirchhoff laws so that it will be easily so that it will be easy for distributing the current in the circuit and easily we can find the answer if we know to distribute the current in the circuit let me go slowly so that you can understand how i am distributing the current in the circuit for my convenience or for our convenience for our remembrance let's start the distribution of current from a voltage source that is the source may be voltage or current it's not a matter but here i have the voltage source so i am going to start from the voltage source here 20 volt and this is the positive terminal negative terminal let me start from the negative terminal let me show how the current is going to flow see if the current starts from the positive terminal first it flows through the 2 ohm resistor then here is the branch the current may split here to 4 ohm resistor as well as 3 ohm resistor let me give you an example we have a water pipe and in which the water flows and i have a divider over here so how does the water flows here the water can flow some of the water can flow straightly and some can deviate from it if i have a divider likewise the same concept is applied over here some of the current flows straight away and some current flows in this branch also and it goes straight here it takes deviation and it, some current flows to 2 ohm resistor and some flow straight and here flow comes to 8 ohm resistor and it reaches to 4 volt and here i have to mention an important point is that is it's not necessary to see how how the current flows through the voltage source it's not necessary to see whether it's positive or negative just the current passes the voltage source it reaches here to this branch and it flows upwards in opposite direction and it comes it reaches a volt and it reaches here and it flows here and it reaches here this is the current distribution now i am going to give some name that is i am going to give some current name that is for current let me take i1 i2 i3 some currents so that it will be easy for solving problems let me take the starting current as i1 the i1 current flows here if it reaches here this current let me take as i2 and some of the current here is the current flowing through the 3 ohm resistor is i1 minus i2 if the current that is if this marking is not clear i request you to see my last video on kirchhoff law so that it will be so that it will be easy for you to understand i have mentioned how to
give the flow of current in a circuit in Kirchhoff law and also I have mentioned why we are using minus sign and why we are using plus sign in Kirchhoff law and here let me take the current flowing as I3 here what happens the current is I1 minus I2 minus I3 the I1 minus I2 minus I3 current comes here it reaches B I1 minus I2 minus I3 here it comes and it goes in opposite direction to the I3 current so here I3 current is added to I1 minus I2 minus I3 so I3 I3 will be cancelling minus I3 and plus I3 will be cancelling here the current will be I1 minus I2 here if it comes the I1 minus I2 comes here and it goes in opposite direction to the I2 current so I2 will be cancelled and remaining is I1 and here the current I1 flows now it's necessary that the current starting from the the potential will be same as the starting the potential there won't be any changes in potential so here I have proved that I have started the current with I1 and I have ended the circuit same with I1 if this potential differs there is something wrong in our marking that is in the flow of current in marking in flow of current so this is the step one after finishing this here comes the superposition theorem the superposition theorem can be applied to a circuit which is having two or more sources maybe current source or voltage source here I have three voltage sources maybe current source also maybe voltage source and I have lots of resistors with values so what is the second step I have to do is according to superposition theorem we have to find the current flowing through the eight ohm resistor when only 20 volt supply is given and we have to find the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor only when the 8 ohm resistor 8 ohm, 8 ohm uh, 8 volt voltage is applied after that we have to find the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor only when 4 volt supply is given so what I am going to do is when I am going to find the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor when only 20 volt is given I am going to replace other voltage sources with their internal resistance here I don't have any internal resistance how internal resistance will be denoted it's just if there is a voltage source the internal resistance will be yeah, this is the denotion of internal resistance Ri if there is a current source the resistance will be parallel to the current and it will be Ri internal resistance this is for voltage source and this is for current source now what I am going to do second what, what is the second step I am going to use here is I am going to find the current flowing through 8 ohm resistor when only 20 volt supply is given so what I am going to do is I am going to short circuit the other voltage sources or I am going to replace the other voltage sources with their internal resistance here I don't have any internal resistance so I have short circuited here also I don't have any internal resistance so I have short circuited so the circuit becomes like this now by using the loop equation I am going to form the equations for each branch here 
we can we have three variables i1 i2 and i3 so i need three equations in circuit we can find there are lots of loop let me throw out the loops this is one loop and this is another loop second loop this is third loop and you can have this as fourth loop and this as fifth loop and this as sixth loop we have six loops so that we can form six equations but here it's not necessary to form six equations as we are going to find only i1 i2 and i3 so it's enough to find three equations here let me take this loop as first loop this loop as second loop and this loop as third loop now let me list out the equations the current flowing through the eight ohm resistor this is very important only 20 volt supply is given so what will be the equation here we know the current voltage is V into I that is V is equal to IR according to Ohm's law so to find the voltage over here I am going to multiply the resistor with current here I1 current and resistor is 2 ohm and the travelling is same the voltage and the current travels in same direction so there is voltage drop I am going to indicate the voltage drop with minus sign so here I am going to get 2 I1 and here it is voltage is traveling here and in the same direction so minus 4 I2 and the current comes here there is no sources or there is no sources here so I am going here I am reaching here and here I have 20 volt and here be careful I am jumping from negative to positive terminal so the potential will be high so let me indicate the potential with positive sign is equal to zero for my convenience if I divide this equation by 2 I will be getting minus I1 minus 2 I2 plus 10 is equal to 0 or if I take this to next side I will be getting is equal to minus 10 let me divide it with minus sign so that everything becomes plus this is for my easy use let me consider this as equation 1 and uh, equation 2 is this loop I am taking this loop so I will be getting minus 3 I1 minus I2 and it's an opposite direction so minus 2 I3 here if I come here there is no resistor here so this is in my voltage is 
opposite to the current so there is potential increase so it should be denoted in positive for i2 is equal to 0 this is my second equation and my third equation will be let me write above Here, if I take this loop, I1 that is 1 into I1 minus I2 minus I3 and it's in opposite direction, minus 1 into my I1 minus I2 minus I3 and here also voltage drop, minus 8 into I1 minus I2 minus I3 I1 minus I2 minus I3. Here, if I come, there is plus 2 I3 equals 0. This is my third equation. After solving this equation, we will be getting I1, I2 and I3 that I1, I2 and I3 is for the circuit consisting of 20 volt and what is the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor when 20 volt is given. This is for first circuit when 20 volt supply is given. The same procedure should be followed for the other voltage this for the other voltage is given and I have to remove the 20 volt resistor when and I have to replace this with the internal resistance and I have to take other voltage sources and I have to find the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor when 8 volt is given so likewise I have to find out I1, I2 and I3 with the direction. In superposition theorem, it is very necessary to find the directions of the current so that we have to merge. What is the meaning of superposition is we have to superimpose all the three and uh, before telling this Superposition theorem is very easy but it takes too much of time to solve the problem because we, do, we doesn't know the voltage sources or current sources given in the circuit. If there are 20 voltage sources or 20 current sources given, we have to find 20 or 20 more than 20 equations. We have to solve and we have to find each current. We have to substitute and we have to superimpose. That is, we have to add all those currents and we have to show the current flowing through the 8 ohm resistor. And here, in my next video, I have given the lecture on conversion of networks that is star network to delta delta to star and how to reduce the networks thank you let me meet you in next video thank you